You have within you right now everything you need to succeed. Everything you need to feel confident and capable is already inside of you waiting to be awakened. Today we're going to talk about five powerful secrets that will help you tap into that inner strength and radiate confidence in every area of your life. The first secret to feeling confident and capable is to trust your inner wisdom. You see, each one of us has a wellspring of knowledge and intuition deep within. It's that quiet voice that guides us, that feeling in our gut when something is right or wrong. Too often, we ignore this inner wisdom, looking instead to others for validation and direction. But here's the truth. You know yourself better than anyone else ever could. You have lived every moment of your life, experienced every triumph and setback. All of that experience has given you a unique perspective and understanding that no one else possesses. When you start to listen to and trust this inner wisdom, something magical happens. You begin to make decisions with greater ease and conviction. You stop second-guessing yourself at every turn. Instead, you move forward with a sense of purpose and direction that comes from within. Now, this doesn't mean you should ignore the advice and opinions of others. There's great value in learning from those around us, but it does mean that you should weigh that external input against your own internal guidance system. When you do this, you'll find that your confidence grows naturally. You'll trust yourself more, and that trust will shine through in everything you do. So how do you tap into this inner wisdom? It starts with quieting your mind. In our busy world, we're constantly bombarded with noise and distractions. To hear that inner voice, we need to create space for it. This might mean taking a few minutes each day to sit in silence, to meditate, or simply to reflect on your thoughts and feelings. As you practice this, you'll become more attuned to your inner guidance. You'll start to recognize its subtle signals. Maybe it's a feeling of excitement when you think about a particular path or a sense of peace when you make a decision that aligns with your values. Whatever form it takes, learn to recognize and honor it. Remember, confidence isn't about always knowing the right answer. It's about trusting yourself to, to figure things out as you go. When you embrace your inner wisdom, you're acknowledging that you have the resources within you to handle whatever life throws your way. And that, my friends, is the foundation of true confidence. Now let's talk about the second secret to feeling confident and capable taking action. You see, confidence isn't something that just happens to us. It's not a trait we're born with or a gift bestowed upon us. Confidence is a skill, and like any skill, it grows stronger with practice. Too often, we wait to feel confident before we act. We tell ourselves, once I feel more sure of myself, then I'll take that risk, or when I'm more confident, I'll pursue that dream. But here's the truth. Action comes first. Confidence follows. Think about it. When you first learned to ride a bike, you probably weren't very confident. You might have been wobbly, uncertain, maybe even a little scared. But with each attempt, with each push of the pedal, you got a little bit better. Your balance improved. Your steering became more precise. And before you knew it, you were zooming down the street with the wind in your hair. That's how confidence works in every area of our lives. How they build it through action, through doing the very things that scare us or make us uncomfortable. Each time we face a fear, each time we step out of our comfort zone, we prove to ourselves that we're capable of more than we thought. So if you want to feel more confident, start taking action today. Don't wait for the perfect moment or for all your doubts to disappear. They won't. Instead, take one small step towards your goals. Then take another and another. Maybe you've always wanted to start your own business but haven't felt confident enough. Instead of waiting for that confidence to magically appear, take one small action today it could be as simple as researching your market or drafting a basic business plan. Each step you take will build your confidence and your capabilities. Or perhaps you want to improve your public speaking skills, but feel terrified at the thought of standing in front of an audience. Dart small. Practice speaking in front of a mirror, then to a friend, then to a small group. With each experience, your confidence will grow. Remember, it's okay to feel nervous or uncertain. Those feelings don't mean you're not confident. They mean you're human. True confidence isn't the absence of fear. 
It's the willingness to act in spite of it. As you take action, you'll start to accumulate small wins. Celebrate these victories, no matter how minor they might seem. Each one is proof of your growing capabilities. Over time, these small wins will compound, building a solid foundation of confidence that will support you in all areas of your life. Now let's move on to our third secret for feeling confident and capable. Cultivating a growth mindset. This concept popularized by psychologist Carol Dweck is about believing that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through effort, learning, and persistence. You see, many of us grow up with a fixed mindset. We believe that our talents and abilities are set in stone, that we're either good at something or we're not. This kind of thinking can be incredibly limiting. It makes us afraid to try new things because we're worried about failing or looking foolish. But when you adopt a growth mindset, everything changes. You start to see challenges as opportunities to learn and grow. Failure becomes not an indictment of your abilities, but a stepping stone on the path to success. Think about a time when you faced a difficult task or challenge. Maybe you told yourself, I'm just not good at this, or I'll never be able to do this. That's the fixed mindset talking. Now imagine approaching that same challenge with a different... Instead of, I can't do this, you think, I can't do this yet, but I can learn. Do you feel the difference? The growth mindset opens up possibilities. It gives you permission to be a beginner, to make mistakes, to struggle, and most importantly, to improve. When you cultivate a growth mindset, you become more resilient in the face of setbacks. Instead of being discouraged by failure, you see it as valuable feedback. You ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I do better next? This approach not only builds your skills, but also your confidence. Moreover, a growth mindset encourages you to embrace challenges rather than avoid them. When you believe in your ability to learn and grow, you're more likely to take on difficult tasks. And each time you do, you're expanding your capabilities and proving to yourself just how much you can achieve. So how do you develop a growth mindset? Start by becoming aware of your self-talk when you face a challenge, what does your inner voice say? If you catch yourself thinking in fixed mindset terms, gently redirect your thoughts. Add the word yet to your vocabulary. I'm not good at public speaking yet. I don't understand this concept. Next, focus on the process rather than the outcome. Instead of fixating on whether you succeed or fail, pay attention to what you're learning along the way. Celebrate your efforts and your progress not just your achievements. Finally, seek out challenges and new experiences. Remember, your comfort zone might feel safe, but it's in the stretch zone where real growth happens. Each time you push yourself, you're reinforcing the belief that you can learn, adapt, and improve. As you cultivate this growth mindset, you'll find your confidence naturally increasing. You'll start to see yourself as capable of tackling any challenge, of learning any skill, and that belief in your ability to grow and improve will become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now let's talk about our fourth secret to feeling confident and capable, practicing self-compassion. This might seem counterintuitive at first. After all, aren't confident people supposed to be tough on themselves, always pushing for perfection? But the truth is, true confidence comes not from harsh self-criticism, but from treating yourself with kindness and understanding. Think about how you talk to yourself when you make a mistake or face a setback. Do you berate yourself, calling yourself names or dwelling on your failures? Many of us do. We think this tough love approach will motivate us to do better. But in reality, it often has the opposite effect. It makes us feel discouraged, anxious, and less likely to take risks or try new things. Now imagine talking to a good friend who's going through a tough time. Would you speak to them the way you speak to yourself? Probably not. You'd likely offer words of comfort and encouragement. You'd remind them of their strengths and past successes. You'd help them see the situation in perspective. That's what self-compassion is all about. It's treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you'd offer to a good friend. It's recognizing that everyone makes mistakes and faces challenges. It's about being gentle with yourself 
while still holding yourself accountable. When you practice self-compassion, you create a safe internal environment for growth and learning. You're more likely to acknowledge your mistakes and learn from them rather than trying to hide them or beat yourself up over them. You're more willing to try new things because you know that even if you fail, you'll be there to support yourself. Moreover, self-compassion helps you maintain a sense of self-worth that isn't dependent on external validation or success. You recognize your inherent value as a human being separate from your achievements or failures. This stable sense of self-worth is a cornerstone of true confidence. So how can you cultivate self-compassion? Start by becoming aware of your self-talk. When you catch yourself being overly critical, pause. Take a deep breath. Then ask yourself, what would I say to a friend in this situation? Try to reframe your thoughts in a kinder, more understanding way. Another powerful practice is to develop a self-compassion mantra. This is a short phrase you can repeat to yourself in difficult moments. It might be something like, this is a moment of suffering. Suffering is part of life. May I be kind to myself in this moment? Or simply, I'm doing the best I can. And that's enough. Remember, self-compassion isn't about making excuses or letting yourself off the hook. It's about creating a supportive internal environment that allows you to learn, grow, and take risks. When you're compassionate with yourself, you're more likely to bounce back from setbacks, to persist in the face of challenges, and to believe in your ability to succeed. As you practice self-compassion, you'll likely notice a shift in how you feel about yourself and your capabilities. You'll become more resilient, more willing to take on challenges, and more confident in your ability to handle whatever life throws your way. Now let's move on to our fifth and final secret to feeling confident and capable. Surrounding yourself with positive influences. You've probably heard the saying, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. While this might be an oversimplification, there's a kernel of truth to it. The people we surround ourselves with have a profound impact on our thoughts, beliefs, and behaviors. Think about the people in your life. Do they lift you up or bring you down? Do they encourage you to pursue your dreams or tell you to play it safe? Do they celebrate your successes or seem threatened by them? The answers to these questions can give you valuable insights into whether your current social circle is supporting your growth and confidence. You see, confidence isn't just an individual trait. It's also a social phenomenon. When we're surrounded by confident, supportive people, it's easier for us to feel confident too. Their belief in us reinforces our belief in ourselves. Their encouragement helps us push through self-doubt. Their success shows us what's possible. On the flip side, if we're constantly around negative, critical people, it can erode our confidence over time. Their doubts can become our doubts. Their fears can become our fears. Without even realizing it, we might start to limit ourselves based on their expectations. So if you want to feel more confident and capable, it's crucial to be intentional about the company you keep. This doesn't mean you need to cut ties with everyone who isn't perfectly positive all the time. We all have our ups and downs, and true friends stick with us through both. But it does mean being aware of how the people in your life affect your mindset and confidence. Start by identifying the positive influences in your life. Who makes you feel good about yourself? Who challenges you to grow? Who believes in you even when you don't believe in yourself? These are the people you want to spend more time with. Make an effort to nurture these relationships. Seek out their company, their advice, their support. At the same time, consider limiting your exposure to negative influences. If there are people in your life who consistently bring you down or undermine your confidence, it might be time to set some boundaries. This could mean spending less time with them, being more selective about what you share with them, or in some cases, distancing yourself entirely. But surrounding yourself with positive influences isn't just about the people you know personally. It's also about the information you consume and the communities you're part of. What kind of books are you reading? What shows are you watching? What social media accounts are you following? All of these can impact your mindset and confidence. Make a conscious effort to seek out positive, uplifting content. Read books that inspire you and expand your mind. 
follow social media accounts that motivate you and make you feel good about yourself. To join communities online or offline that align with your values and goals. Remember, you have the power to curate your environment. You can choose to surround yourself with people, ideas, and influences that support your growth and boost your confidence. As you implement this strategy, you might find that your confidence grows naturally. You'll start to absorb the positive attitudes of those around you. You'll be inspired by their successes and supported through your challenges. You'll have living proof that your goals are achievable. Moreover, as you become more confident, you'll likely attract even more positive influences into your life. Confidence is magnetic. When you believe in yourself, others are more likely to believe in you too. It creates a virtuous cycle of positivity and growth. Now, as we wrap up our discussion of these five secrets to feeling confident and capable, I want to emphasize one crucial point. Becoming confident is a journey, not a destination. It's not about reaching some perfect state where you never have doubts. Rather, it's about developing the tools and mindset to navigate life's challenges with grace and self-assurance. Remember, confidence isn't about knowing you'll succeed at everything you try. It's about believing in your ability to handle whatever outcome comes your way. It's about trusting that no matter what happens, you have the inner resources to learn, grow, and move forward. As you start to implement these secrets in your life, trusting your inner wisdom, taking action, cultivating a growth mindset, practicing self-compassion, and surrounding yourself with positive influences. You may notice changes happening gradually. Some days you might feel on top of the world, while other days you might struggle with self-doubt. That's completely normal and part of the process. The key is to be patient with yourself and to keep practicing. Like any skill, building confidence takes time and consistent effort. But with each small step you take, with each challenge you face, you're building a stronger foundation of self -care. And here's the beautiful thing. As your confidence grows, you'll likely find that it spills over into all areas of your life. You might notice improvements in your relationships as you become more assertive and true to yourself. You might see progress in your career as you take on new challenges and express your ideas more freely. You might even find yourself trying new hobbies or adventures that you previously thought were out of reach. But perhaps most importantly, you'll develop a deeper, more authentic relationship with yourself. You'll learn to trust your instincts to treat yourself with kindness and to believe in your own potential. This inner strength and self-assurance is the true foundation of lasting confidence. So I encourage you to start implementing these secrets today. Begin by taking one small step Maybe it's spending five minutes in quiet reflection to connect with your inner wisdom. Maybe it's taking one tiny action towards a goal that scares you. Maybe it's catching yourself in negative self-talk and replacing it with words of encouragement. Whatever you choose to start with, know that you're embarking on a powerful journey of self-discovery and growth. You're unlocking the confidence and capability that has always been within you waiting to be awakened. Remember, you are far more capable than you may realize. You have overcome challenges in the past and you will overcome challenges in the future. You have unique gifts, experiences, and perspectives that make you valuable and worthy. You have the power to shape your thoughts, your actions, and ultimately, your life. As you move forward from here, carry these secrets with you. Let them guide you when you face moments of doubt or uncertainty. Let them remind you of your inherent worth and potential. Let them empower you to live with greater confidence, to pursue your dreams, and to become the best version of yourself. You have everything you need within you right now. Trust in that inner wisdom. Take action, even when you're afraid. Embrace a mindset of growth and learning. Treat yourself with compassion and kindness, and surround yourself with people and influences that lift you up. Your journey to greater confidence and capability starts now. Embrace it with open arms, knowing that with each step, you're moving closer to becoming the confident, capable person you were always meant to be. Now let's dig a little deeper into how these five secrets can work together to create a powerful synergy in your life. When you combine trusting your inner wisdom, taking action, 
cultivating a growth mindset, practicing self-compassion, and surrounding yourself with positive influences. You create an unstoppable force for personal growth and confidence. Think about it this way. When you trust your inner wisdom, you're more likely to take actions that align with your true self. These actions, even if they're small, build your confidence and reinforce your trust in yourself. As you act, you're likely to face challenges, which is where your growth mindset comes into play. Instead of seeing these challenges as roadblocks, you see them as opportunities to learn and grow. Now, inevitably, there will be times when things don't go as planned. This is where self-compassion becomes crucial. Instead of beating yourself up over mistakes or setbacks, you treat yourself with kindness and understanding. This compassionate approach allows you to bounce back more quickly and maintain your confidence even in the face of adversity. And through all of this, you're surrounded by positive influences. People who believe in you, encourage you, and inspire you to keep pushing forward. Their support reinforces your own self-belief and helps you stay motivated on your journey. Can you see how these elements work together? Each one supports and enhances the others, creating a powerful ecosystem for building and maintaining confidence. Building confidence is not about eliminating fear or doubt from your life. In fact, fear and doubt can often be signposts pointing towards areas of potential growth. The goal isn't to never feel afraid or uncertain. It's to develop the confidence to move forward despite those feelings. Think about a time when you faced a significant challenge in your life. Maybe it was starting a new job, moving to a new city, or taking on a leadership role. I'm willing to bet that you felt some fear and doubt, but you moved forward anyway, didn't you? And in doing so, you grew. You became more capable, more confident. That's the power of these five secrets. They don't eliminate challenges from your life, but they give you the tools to face those challenges head on. They help you tap into your inner strength, learn from your experiences, and keep moving forward even when things get... Now, I want you to take a moment and imagine yourself six months from now, after you've been consistently applying these secrets in your life. Picture yourself walking into a room, standing a little taller, speaking a little more confidently. Imagine yourself taking on challenges that might have seemed overwhelming before, but now feel exciting and full of possibility. See yourself trusting your instincts more, taking bold actions towards your goals. Envision yourself bouncing back more quickly from setbacks, treating yourself with kindness and understanding. Picture yourself surrounded by supportive, positive people who bring out the best in you. How does that vision feel? Exciting, isn't it? Well, here's the amazing. That confident, capable version of yourself isn't some far-off dream. It's already within you, waiting to be unleashed. These five secrets are the keys to unlocking that potential. But remember, this transformation doesn't happen overnight. It's a process, a journey. There will be ups and downs along the way. There will be days when you feel on top of the world and days when you struggle with self-doubt. That's all part of the process. The key is to keep moving forward, to keep practicing these secrets even on the tough days especially on the tough days. You see, confidence isn't built when everything is going smoothly. It's built when you face challenges and come out the other side. It's built when you take risks and learn from the outcomes, whether they're successes or failures. It's built when you choose to believe in yourself, even when it's difficult. So I encourage you to embrace the journey, embrace the challenges, the setbacks, the moments of doubt, because each of these experiences is an opportunity to grow stronger, to become more confident and capable. Start small. Maybe today you decide to trust your instincts on a minor decision instead of second-guessing yourself. Maybe you take one tiny step towards a goal that's been intimidating you. Maybe you catch yourself in negative self-talk and choose to speak to yourself with kindness instead. These small actions might not seem like much in the moment, but they add up. They create momentum. They start to shift your beliefs about yourself and what you're capable of. And before you know it, you'll start to notice changes. You'll find yourself speaking up more in meetings. You'll be more willing to take on new challenges. You'll bounce back more quickly from setbacks. And as you grow in confidence, you'll likely find that it affects every area of your life. 
Your relationships may become stronger as you communicate more openly and assertively. Your career might flourish as you take on new responsibilities and share your ideas more freely. You might even find yourself trying new hobbies or adventures that you previously thought were out of reach. But perhaps most importantly, you'll develop a deeper, more authentic relationship with yourself. You'll learn to trust your instincts, to treat yourself with kindness, and to believe in your own potential. This inner strength and self-assurance is the true foundation of lasting confidence. Now, I want to address something that might be on your mind. You might be thinking, this all sounds great, but what if I fail? What if I try to be more confident and it doesn't work out? Well, let me ask you this. What if you succeed? What if you try these strategies and they do work? What if you discover that you're capable of far more than you ever imagined? You see, the biggest risk isn't in trying and failing. The biggest risk is in not trying at all. It's in letting fear and self-doubt hold you back from becoming the confident, capable person you're meant to be. So I challenge you to take that risk, to believe in yourself, to trust that you have everything you need within you right now to start this journey towards greater confidence and capability. Remember, confidence isn't about being perfect. It's not about never making mistakes or never feeling fear. It's about believing in your ability to handle whatever comes your way. It's about trusting that no matter what happens, you have the inner resources to learn, grow, and move forward. As you move forward from here, I want you to carry these five secrets with you. Let them be your guide when you face moments of doubt or uncertainty. Let them remind you of your inherent worth and potential. Let them empower you to live with greater confidence, to pursue your dreams, and to become the best version of yourself. Trust your inner wisdom. It's been shaped by every experience you've had, every challenge you've overcome. It's a powerful resource that's always available to you if you just take the time to listen. Take action, even when you're afraid. Remember, courage isn't the absence of fear. It's moving forward despite the fear. Each action you take builds your confidence and expands your comfort zone. Embrace a mindset of growth and learning. See challenges as opportunities, failures as feedback. Okay. Trust in your ability to learn, adapt. Treat yourself with compassion and kindness. Speak to yourself as you would to a dear friend. Recognize that being human means being imperfect and that's okay. Surround yourself with people and influences that lift you up. Seek out those who believe in you, who challenge you to grow, who inspire you to be your best self. These secrets aren't just ideas or concepts. They're tools, practical strategies that you can start implementing in your life today. They're the keys to unlocking the confidence and capability that's always been within you. So I invite you to take the first step right here, right now. Choose one of these secrets and commit to putting it into practice today. Maybe it's taking a moment to tune into your inner wisdom before making a decision. Maybe it's taking one small action towards a goal that scares you. Maybe it's catching yourself in self-criticism and choosing to respond with kindness instead. Whatever you choose, know that with that single step, you're beginning a powerful journey of transformation. You're starting to unlock your true potential to tap into the wellspring of confidence and capability that's always been within you. And as you continue on this journey, remember that you're not alone. Every confident person you admire has walked this path. They've faced doubts, overcome challenges, and grown through their experiences. And now you're joining their ranks. You're becoming one of those people who radiates confidence, who inspires others, who lives life fully and authentically. Imagine the impact you'll have as you grow in confidence. Think about how you'll be able to pursue your dreams more boldly to contribute your unique gifts to the world more freely. Consider how your increased confidence might inspire others around you to believe in themselves too. You have the power to create a ripple effect of positivity and empowerment. As you become more confident and capable, you'll naturally lift up those around you. You'll become a living example of what's possible when someone believes in themselves and takes action towards their goals. So embrace this journey with open arms. Embrace the challenges, the growth, the transformation. Embrace the person you're becoming, confident, capable, 
and ready to make your mark on the world. Remember, you are far more capable than you may realize. You have overcome challenges in the past and you will overcome challenges in the future. You have unique gifts, experiences, and perspectives that make you valuable and worthy. You have the power to shape your thoughts, your actions, and ultimately, your, your journey to greater confidence and capability isn't just beginning, it's been unfolding your entire life. Every experience you've had, every challenge you've faced has been preparing you for this moment. Now, armed with these five secrets, you're ready to take your confidence to the next level. Trust in yourself. Believe in your potential. Know that you have everything you need within you right now to create the life you desire. You are. So go forth with confidence. Take those bold steps towards your dreams. Face your fears and doubts with courage and self-compassion. Surround yourself with positivity and support and watch as you transform into the confident, capable person you've always had the potential to be. Your time is now. Your journey begins here. And I believe in you every step of the way. Now go out there and show the world just how amazing you truly are.